that bitch got some balls. That's a badass gun. <laughs> I, I don't know. Finish it off, too. <laughs> What's going on guys and welcome back. Uh, I'm in a realm of things that I have absolutely zero, zero, zero clue about. Uh, and that is guns. Um, and that's why I brought our buddy Pat over here to kind of bring some guns out and teach me about guns. There's some people in the background that you can't see right now that know about guns. I know nothing about them. I've shot them one time in my life. And uh, Pat is the man. So Pat, say hi. How are we doing everybody? So uh, we were up here for Turner Drive Trail Weekend and uh, Pat came up and Jared, that's behind the camera, and uh, Pat some brought up some uh, some toys that we could play with uh, when we were done working. So this is what we got. So Pat, this is your world, literally completely your world. This is what you do. So uh, tell us a little about, about yourself before you even get into talking about what this is. Yeah, I'm. Uh, my name is Pat Winchester. Uh, I'm the owner of Winchester Armament Inc. Uh, I've been in business for almost 14 years as a 07, 02 FFL and SOT, which means that I deal in your everyday needs for firearms and firearm accessories, as well as your NFA stuff. So your short barreled, your suppressors, uh, short barreled shotguns, things of that nature, um, as well as, uh, of course, like we have a few here today, machine guns. Um, so we kind of got Jesse out today and some of the guys and got him to play with some of the, the cool toys and the fan favorites. Uh, couple movie They're guns cool. that everybody loves um you know the mp5 things like that that uh or call of duty guns and uh everybody seemed to love them we had a great time yeah it was really cool so again this is not my world at all i've only shot once so you know pat kind of is walking me through you know what is each gun and and what is each one kind of built for and why is it built for that and how is it built for that and so on and so forth and we have some pistols here i don't know if you can see where from from where jared's standing but uh, we kind of went through all of it. So if Jared wants to come over here, Pat will kind of walk us through what we have here and uh, what is available through uh, Pat. So yeah, just to kind of go uh, for you guys right to left here, um, I had a couple of my Walthers out today, uh, one being the, the PDP Pro uh, with a Holosun 509T and a rugged uh, Obsidian 9 on it, uh, suppressor. Um, and then of course the X, X300 Ultra. Um, great, fun, t fun piece, uh, something that gets out, doesn't break your ears, and uh, just shoots super smooth, reliable, and very well. Um, and then its, or it's brother here, um, the Walther PDP Pro um, with just a PMM comp on it, threaded barrel, um, and then another 509T for just your standard pistol. I carry this gun every day for many years. Uh, awesome piece, very fun to shoot, very smooth. Um, then we kind of move on here. Uh, this is one of my Colts. Um, with a, uh, this has a BNT suppressor on it under the cover. You can't see it. Um, Purse 3 uh, IR laser, uh, Halson 530 on a unity mount. Um, like I said, it's Colt based. Um, this is an actual legal, uh, they're legal for me to own with my licensing. Um, this is an actual machine gun, uh, select fire. Um, runs super well, super smooth as you'll see in the videos. Um, moving on here, this is a, a PTR uh, MP5 clone um, with a hollow sun on it, uh, hollow sun laser as well, which works very well. Um, this has uh, actual select fire on it, so this is a semi or full auto as well as safe. Um, super fun, everybody loves that one because it's uh, a great movie gun. This is what you see in your lethal weapon and, uh, you know, John McClane had it and all that fun stuff. Um, kind of moving Pat, on. Pat brought all the cool stuff. <laughs> like, all the cool stuff. That was the goal. These are guns that <laughs> some people will never have a chance to shoot right. or use. Yeah. So that's what we, that's usually what my goal is for a range visit. Um, moving on, this is a SCAR, an FN SCAR 15P, uh, or 15 pistol that I converted to an SBR. So this has an actual stock on it. Um, that has a Surefire RC3 on it, uh, EOTEC EXPS3. Um, and some other furniture and whatnot, uh, Surefire Light. Super smooth, probably the smoothest shooting gun that I own. Um, and then to round it out, out of my stable here, uh, we have the SIG um, Spear in 300 Blackout, 8-inch barreled version, uh, with an EXPS3, also converted to an SBR with a rifle, uh, registered rifle, and that has an Outer Creek Slab Lithium on it. Um, or no, excuse me, a hydrogen. That is a hydrogen uh, suppressor. 
uh, under the cover, uh, Surefire Light, Unity mount, and Unity button. Um, just some furniture other than that to bring it to what I like to use on a rifle um, and what other local municipalities and SWAT teams and whatnot tend to like to run. Right, so he uh, he kind of brought the cavalry out. We got a couple other little miscellaneous items that are uh, some buddies, but Pat is here to kind of teach me and uh, kind of let us all take a uh, test drive in all these guns, which is so awesome, um, which we're gonna do now. And then uh, at the end of this, we're gonna kind of touch on it and I'll let you know kind of what I thought of, and I might not shoot all of them, but I'm gonna shoot a couple ones. I'm looking to get um, a pistol, which I'm in Jersey, Pat's in New York, so it's a little bit, it's a, it's a little bit different. Um, but I did just want to uh, try a couple things out and see what I like. So um, we're going to go, we're going to shoot, and then we'll uh, close out this video afterwards. It is loaded, keep your finger up trigger till you're ready to shoot, and flip that down so it's vertical when you're ready to fire. That was going to be quiet. Get a feel for it. All the way around. That's a badass gun. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Can you show off? Yeah. <laughs> All right, this one is pretty simple. Safe, semi, so one at a time. Yep. So rip a couple through there, see how it feels, yep. and then kick her out of the full. Yep. Same deal, look through the optic, you'll see the red dot. Put the dot on whatever you want to hit. All right, Pat, so we are back where this video started, but uh, we did shoot it just a bunch as you guys just saw, and uh, wow, holy, holy, holy smokes. So again, zero, zero um, knowledge about anything. Pat kind of walked me through each one of them, how to work it, how to shoot it, how to do it safely, and so on, and uh, just incredible. Each one is so different within itself. Yes, obviously it shoots bullets out the end of it at the end of the day, but they do it in a very, very different manner. And uh, Pat was awesome about just explaining kind of what gun does what and uh, super cool. And I did really, really like the handgun. So uh, we'll be uh, we'll be talking about that and I got to see what I need to do in the state of Jersey to do that. But um, if you guys need anything, obviously Pat could uh, is there to help you guys and either talk to you about stuff or if you guys need anything, you know, whatever it may be, I'll put all of his contact information in the uh, description below. But yes, super, super cool day. Again, something, not something that we totally do all the time, but uh, I figured you guys would like that. And I know Pat likes it. Pat's a huge snowmobiler. Pat actually bought my, um, for you guys that have been here for a while, my first boost, the uh, the retro one, the pink one. Pat ended up buying that. Uh, it does not look like that anymore. It looks completely different. It looks really good. And I'll show you guys. A, uh, he'll be, we'll be riding a ton this year. But um, he did buy that big snowmobiler. So is Jer um and uh just such a cool day to to kind of venture out into something that i i have no idea about but again it's also i felt totally fine because i trust him 110 percent and it's not there was no guessing game it's like okay this is how it's done this is the right way to do it and that's the way you do it and that's really it so mm -hmm. um which is awesome and i can't thank you enough for that and the guys all you know appreciate you in the background but uh yeah super awesome again if you guys need anything yeah. 
uh, reach out to Pat. Again, all of his uh, information will be in the description. And that's it. What do you got? Uh, anything else to say? No, it's just been a great weekend up here. We've not only been able to play with some toys, but it was super, super great hanging out with Jesse and the crew. And we got to get out with the Turn Ridge Riders and uh, get some trails cleaned up. Did a whole bunch of that yesterday to get ready for the season. So um, it's nice to have a hand in some of the areas that we ride and help out and be a part of what's going on. So 100%. So, and I can't thank Pat enough for one, coming out and helping us with all the trail work and two, coming out and... Uh, bringing some of his uh, own personal belongings to for us to have fun with. So uh, that's probably going to do it for this. We actually have to get to the Turn Ridge Riders meet and greet, which you're probably going to see in the video before this, not this video. And uh, it's all going to work together, though. And uh, but that's going to do it, guys. Make sure to like, make sure to subscribe, and we'll see you guys in the next one.